Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here today in this video we'll be finally trying to emulate some PC games on a MediaTek processor Android device specifically an Android device with Mali GPU as you guys know most of the emulators like Mobox, WinLater, even Yuzu emulator and all the other emulators are not really well supported for Mali GPU Android devices so everyone who buys a MediaTek processor Android device has to suffer the consequences but in today's video we'll be finding out if it will be actually playable or not before starting be sure to hit that like button subscribe subscribe turn on all notification as I upload similar videos on my channel solving your problems and in today's video we'll be testing out the Mobox simulator which is the most stable and well supported Windows emulator for Android. First of all as usual we'll need to copy this command and paste it in the Termux app. We'll also need Termux X11 and Input Bridge. Before going through the setup procedure let me show you the device which I'll be using in today's video. I have Redmi K50i which comes with MediaTek Dimensity 8100 processor so it is an 8 core processor with Mali G610 GPU which is even capable of running games like BGMI at 90 FPS without any problems. With that being said right here I have added the Termux, Termux X11 and Input Bridge. Let's go ahead and open Termux app and paste the code for Mobox Simulator then tap on enter. Afterwards we'll need to wait for some time until the setup procedure starts. As you guys can see right here Virgil Mesa the driver which will be used to emulate Windows on an Mali GPU Android device. And there we go, Mobox Emulator has finished setting up. Before starting the emulator, let me talk about minimum requirements. Android version 10 or above is recommended if you want to try out Mobox Emulator. And you can use Mesa Virgil to play DirectX 9 games. And after giving the command, you will be able to read. It says syncing packages. And there we go, guys. We have successfully added the Mobox Emulator on our Android devices. Now to start off, let's just go ahead and check out the settings option. Because as we'll be using Virgil Mesa, let's go to the Virgil settings tab and see what options can we get. So right here you will be able to see we have GL 2.1, GL 3.3 and as you see right here Virgil is not on now so what we will have to do is tap on start wine, press enter and our mobile simulator should successfully start. If you open the emulator for the first time it may take few minutes to launch and we haven't gone through the dynamic settings which are important for uh, getting better FPS. I think we don't really need to do that for now. Let's set up drivers first and then take a look at it. Alright guys, now the next step is to set up Termux X11. For that, let's go back. By the way, my Android device only has 6 GB of RAM so I'm not really sure if it will work at all. Let's change the preferences for Termux X11 app. Display resolution, make sure to keep it at exact. Afterwards resolution, set it as 1280 by 720p. Once that has been done, disable this option. Scroll down. Afterwards, make sure to enable full screen, force landscape, as well as keep screen on. Turn off show additional keyboard. By the way, Mobox is a completely open source PC emulator for Android, so you don't really have to worry about it. Let's just go ahead and open Termux X11 and tap on don't allow. And there we go, Mobox Simulator has successfully started. But the main important step which we have to do is go to this section and check out which driver we are using. So default, it is selected to turn it driver, which is not really uh, great for our Android device. So we'll go with Virgil Mesa 24.0.0. This is recommended if you have a MediaTek processor. Now as the device which we'll be using for today's video doesn't have an Adreno GPU, we'll be using Wine D3D 8.0.2 as you see right here. So just go ahead and tap on it and wait until it's loaded. This is very important. Make sure to uh, go back and check if it has been actually selected. Also make sure that Virgil Mesa is again selected because the first time our PC restarted. Now let's just go ahead and try out basic games like Assassin's Creed and Amazing Spider-Man. Anyways, yo, let's go. Assassin's Creed has successfully started. As you guys can see right here, it is loading Ubisoft icon. All right, this was unexpected. I didn't think it would start so fast. At the top left corner, you will be able to see we are getting around 36 FPS. And this was very surprising to be honest, guys. I didn't expect any game to work on a MediaTek processor Android device. And not just that, it is running without any graphical issues, as you see, and the cutscenes 30 FPS no issues whatsoever but we need some on screen touch controls so let's set up input bridge. Alright I have set up and profile in input bridge let me just go ahead and tap on the enter button and let's roll right into the game of Assassin's Creed. Now that the game has started the FPS has fallen down a bit uh, around 20 to 25 FPS that's not bad let's just go ahead and uh, create any profile and start our game. Alright, here's the moment of truth. How well does this game actually work on our Android devices? Well, let me also tell you guys the truth that you need to have at least MediaTek Dimensity 8000 series or above or Helio like the latest Helio series. I am not really sure about uh, MediaTek processors, but unfortunately the game is showing us an widescreen. 
that was for quite some time but the game appears to have successfully started on our android devices and the fps which we are getting is 0.5 so that's super funny uh again it's back up to 4 to 5 fps but again back to 1 fps so for now windows emulation on android hasn't been really well optimized for mali gpu android devices the best uh, solution which I would give you guys for now is to wait until the Cassia emulator is released because Cassia is only hope for Mali GPU Android device users. It's not really your device fault, it's just that uh, Mali GPU isn't really well optimized for emulation and the developers have to uh, write lot of code to make sure that it runs well even on these processors. So yeah, you just need to be patient, wait for Cassia emulators release. It will be officially launched by the end of this year and Windows emulation on MediaTek processors will be super smooth. So that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notification and comment down below any game of your choice which I should test out next on this Android device. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.